Today we're headed to France. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I'm excited okay, for this. Me too. It's been way too long since we've done a video it's about France. It's been way, too, way long. too long. Yeah, we've checked out um, a couple of videos about Paris, some of the other cities in yes. France. So um, today we're checking out some culture shocks. Yeah, it should be good. It should be really good. Video comes from our buddy at Walter's World. Yes. Thank you for the video. Love his videos. Always love his videos. All Let's right. Let's check it out. 10 culture shocks. Let's do it. Oh, the title hey says there, 10. Travelers. This is 12. Mark here with Walter's World. Oh. We'll Paris, see. Friends, if you can't tell by the Eiffel Tower behind me. And today what we have for you are 10 things that will shock you I'd like about to check coming out here France. to France. Yeah, okay? that would be cool. So this is for probably U.S. tourists coming to France. Might be your biggest surprises. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that will shock Americans when they come here is how much the French actually smoke. Whether oh. it is having a cigarette with your coffee in the afternoon or after your meal or during your meal or at breakfast or at the cafe in the morning, the French <laughs> love to smoke. Oh, Deal wow, with that. it. Yes, I you're not if supposed they smoke. to smoke inside and they don't, oh, but they okay. go outside and <laughs> I smoke. Was just so gonna if you're ask used that. to your <laughs> pure clean air, it's not going to happen here. So realize, yes, the French do like to smoke a lot and that will shock you how much they still do smoke, okay? The second thing that will shock you about coming to France is actually how friendly and helpful the people are in France. Because in the U.S. we hear all this anti-American nice. yeah. stuff about France and how the French are rude and unhelpful. That's a bunch of BS, okay? The French are fantastic people and they are very helpful. Even here in Paris, the locals are actually much nicer than you'd expect from a huge international city with millions of tourists every year. So just realize you'll be shocked at actually how friendly the French people can be. And when you get to the villages or you speak a little bit of French, that's great. how much even yeah. more friendly they become. And that's going to shock you just how wonderful the people are here because they're not jerks that hate Americans, okay? They're good people. The third thing that'll shock you about coming to France is, how do I say this? Well, they're closed for business, okay? It, during business the lunch hours. hour, some businesses will literally close for an hour or two every day. Also, Sundays, forget about shopping. It's all closed down. And even some places on Mondays are closed as well. Oh, you really? See, oh. Sometimes they're closed on Thursdays. And these weird office and business hours can get kind wow. of frustrating for tourists. So we'll shock you when you go to shop Close on a that. Sunday. That's or... shocking the Louvre is closed on Tuesdays because yeah. you think for a huge like destination like yeah. that, it would be open all the time. Yeah. That for how shocking. many tourists go to see it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was really shocking. Imagine totally going there one day. On Monday, maybe a Tuesday, <laughs> yeah. And oh, it's closed. closed. <laughs> okay. So be prepared. So when you don't want to be shocked, if there's museums you want to go to or shopping you want to go to, check their schedules online and you'll be much better off and much happier. The fourth thing that might shock you about France is their look but don't touch mantra when it comes to two things. One, produce. Okay. So when you see all the good fruit at the fruit stands and stuff like that, you're not supposed to pick it up. You wait for the guy or the lady to come to pick it up for you and you say how many apples you want or how many bananas you want. Oh, these kind of things. You don't nice. grab it yourself. Yeah, it's not a self so serve. Do, don't be surprised yeah. if someone yells at you and goes, hey, don't do that. Okay? <laughs> Another thing that you're supposed to look at and not touch a lot of times are the parks. Okay? You'll see these beautiful parks everywhere, but no one's sitting on <laughs> them because you're not supposed to sit in the parks. Now, some you can but some you can, so just, just make sure you look for the signs and make sure it says, yes, you can sit here, okay? The fifth wow. thing Like in the grass or on a bench? I don't know. The dog poop. I'm guessing oh the grass. Oh my goodness, they Whoa. love their dogs here and they let their dogs enjoy France everywhere. <laughs> and no, they don't clean it up all the time. So whether you're walking in the streets <laughs> or on the sidewalks and stuff like that, keep an eye out for the dog poop. And when it <laughs> rains, it can get pretty slick, okay? So just be prepared for oh that. Oh my gosh. You might be shocked about how much dog poop you will see on the streets, okay? Number six, this is for my American friends when you head down to the Cote d'Azur or the French Riviera. Yes, those girls there, they are topless. And that is completely normal, okay? They do have topless Oh my topless gosh, that would not here, be normal not here. Beach. Yeah. It's just a beach that you can go topless, yes or no. I mean, sometimes we go topless. I mean, no one wants to see me topless, but I'll do it, okay? My wife, <laughs> my all kinds of my friends will do it too. It's normal here. Oh, That's why I saw a video funny. one time that said, like, it's a requirement to wear a Speedo. Really? Um, like, for guys to wear a Speedo at the beach or at the pool or something like that. Yeah. Where? Uh, I don't know. It was like a video. It was like culture shocks of France to American 
I think it was a TikTok video. Oh, wow. I don't know. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> you go down to, if you go to the rocky beaches in Nice or Maybe whatever, it was the pool. You'll see the Americans something. come and they'll have like, their camera on their side, like taking pictures of normal people just laying out because, oh, look, boobs. So, yes, you will see some boobs <laughs> when you go to the beaches, okay? And you're free to show yours as well. It's okay. The seventh thing that might shock when you come here is when it comes to eating. Lots of things might shock you. One, how fantastic the food is, but most likely what will shock you is when you go to eat, and if you're from the U.S., dinner times are like from 5 to 6, maybe 7 at night. Mm -hmm. Well, here in France, a lot of times restaurants will close in the afternoon between the lunch sitting and the dinner sitting. So if you want to eat at 5 or 6, it might be hard to find a restaurant to eat at. Oh, wow. It's not like really? a touristy place, okay? So make sure you realize that, hey, sometimes the restaurants don't open for dinner until 7 p.m. You might wow. be able to go in wow. for a drink or something, but the kitchen part might not open till seven. Okay, so that might wow. shock you there. The eighth thing that might shock you when you come here is, yes, having a baguette and cheese can be a meal. The food here is knockout by far Whoa, the, the snails. best food in the world. I travel over the place and yes, what I is love that, my potato? food in China. I, I love know. my Italian friends, but I'm sorry. My heart bleeds Whoa. French food. It is so fantastic here. And even the simplest fare, cheese and a baguette cheese and bread will be a wonderful meal i can't tell you how many times i've sat here in this part of the park you can actually sit in <laughs> in front of the eiffel tower and had bread and cheese with my family as we just played around here in the park and that's all we had and we were happy with it and you'll see that with the french they'll just grab a baguette or they'll grab some fruit you can have a very simple meal here and eat very well or you can have fantastic feasts of food at restaurants and one thing that might shock you is it takes a long time to eat in france so if you get one of those menus you know what it has an, a starter a main dish and a dessert you're looking at spending maybe an hour or two or longer at the restaurant and also at those restaurants you may think that they know you're finished but you still have to ask for l'addition, the bill. Otherwise, they'll just let you sit there for uh, hours. Oh, because the French do that. They the sit bill. there for hours, have their coffee and wine and cigarettes, of course, outside <laughs> and stuff. So just be prepared for that. I feel like here, the restaurants nice push tables. To France, <laughs> like yeah. 30 minutes. Yes, go, go. You do All right, need you to, to leave? <laughs> right. say, you need to speak at least a little French when you're here. Now, old people here, they don't speak too much English. Young people, they are learning it and they speak some, so you're okay that way. In the tourist industry, you're okay. But the thing is, when you're going Je around, you're going to Katie. restaurants, you're ordering food <laughs> there you and go. stuff like Je that, it Thai. is <laughs> a vital need that you speak at least a little French. And we have some basic phrase videos in French that'll help out. And just speaking that little bit will make a big difference because you're not always gonna get an English menu if you're outside of Paris, okay? Paris, it's easy because there's so many tourists, but hey, you're going to Avignon or Montpellier or La Rochelle, it's a little bit tougher to come by, okay? So you need to be shocked that, yes, you do need to speak some French because, no, not everyone speaks English here, okay? J'attends. The 10th thing that you're going to let shock you, if you, especially if you're from the U.S., are the free-range children they have here. The French let their kids be children. They get to go <laughs> ride on their bikes and, and their scooters by themselves and no helmets and stuff like that, and it's okay. <laughs> they don't helicopter parent here. So I'll see tourists going, oh my God, there's a kid by themselves over there. He might be eight or nine. Yeah, that's normal here, okay? But it does shock Americans when they see like kids roving groups of you know 10-year-olds hanging out because they give them the independence to do that, and it's great. And I know our kids, we let them run wild when they're here, and they love it because they're not dragged back by some old lady down the street saying, like, hey, this ran wild on his own. I'm like, yes. Ran wild, and you can still have them in sight, though? Or just like, go ahead, see you later. <laughs> I don't know. You know? Just go ahead, see you later. Wow. <laughs> it's a park. They can play. Okay, so that might shock you is that thing. The 11th thing that's going to shock you about coming to France is, guys, you need to realize France is not just Paris. I know I'm making this video in front of the Eiffel Tower because it is the most iconic vision of Paris. Wow, look We've at that. Array, yeah. Just perfect. But the thing is, France is so much more than Paris. I love Avignon. I love Bordeaux, the wine. Oh, my God. Go to Toulouse for the Space Museum there. I mean, France is awesome, and it goes everywhere. Mont Saint-Michel, <laughs> probably the most prettiest place in the world. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. Oh, nice. There's so much in France to see outside of Paris, and that's what shocks a lot of people because they think, oh, I just need to see Paris. No, there is so much more here, and you're going to love it. And the 12th thing that might shock you when you do come to France is that you might see there are quite a few beggars around. Now, the French people say, well, they're not French, you know, and these kind of things, but just be prepared for people begging on the metros or musicians asking for money or children begging, these kind of things. Just be prepared for that. Now, you should not give them money 
okay, because that just encourages it to keep going. So just realize you might see some beggars. Now, those are actually 12 things that might shock you when you come to France. We love France. I'm shocked how much I love it. And every time I come here, I fall in love. It'd be fun to visit France. I mean, yeah, literally, this is probably my 35th or 36th time in France, <laughs> and I can't wait to come back. 36th time? Yet. So anyway, wow. if you want to learn more things about... That was really cool. Yeah, that would be really cool to check out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the baguette and cheese as a meal, that's that's quite yeah. something. And that's true, too. I feel like when people say, oh, I'm going to go visit France, it's like, oh, you're going to go see Paris. Paris, definitely. Yeah, but so there's a lot more. more to visit. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, really good video. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below what else we have to check out about France and what other videos we should watch. And thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And if it's your first time coming across our channel and checking out one of our videos, please give us a quick subscribe. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date because we come out with videos every, every single, single day. day. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See ya. <laughs>